गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम आसिम रज ऑफ अर्थ हाउस टुडे ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ अगस्त वी सेलिब्रेट नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे टुडे इज ऑल्सो बर्थ डे ऑफ मेजर ध्यानचंद द हॉकी विजार्ड हु एड अ वर्ल्ड ऑन हिस्स ट्रिक विथ थ्री ऑलंपिक गोल्ड मेडल ही वॉज अ पोस्टर बॉय ऑफ इंडियन हॉकी फॉर डिकेट्स ध्यानचंद बर्थ डे सेलिब्रेटेड एज नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे इन इंडिया फॉर मैनी ध्यानचंद इज सिम्पली द ग्रेटेस्ट इंडियन फील्ड हॉकी प्लेयर ऑफ ऑल टाइम He was the man who mesmerized everyone with his silky stick work, earning him the nickname Hockey Wizard. Like his father, he too enrolled himself in the army at the age of 16 and continued to play his favorite sport there. His time in the force saw him play various army hockey competition and regimental games between 1922 and 1926. Dhan would be so engrossed in the game that he played hockey even during the night after his duty hours, practicing under the moonlight. A reason that he earned him The name Dhyan Chand. Chan means moon in in Hindi. Dhyan Chand progressed through ranks. Saw him make the Indian Army team for a tour in New Zealand in 1926. The Indian side was firing all cylinders in New Zealand, where they won 18 matches due to and lost just a solitary tie during the tour. India performance was lauded by many, and Dhyan in particular received a lot of praise for his show on his first international assignment. With the sports included Olympic fold for the first time, the newly formed Indian Hockey Federation. was eager to send the best possible team for the games in the netherlands for that the ihf called for an interprovincial tournament to decide on the squad for the olympics five teams punjab bengal rajputana united provinces and central provinces participated in the inaugural nation and with the army side choosing to skip the competition dhyanchand was allowed to turn up for united provinces the hockey magician insisted that He made the most of his opportunity. Dhyan Chand not only made a case for himself in the Indian hockey team, but also entertained the selectors and the spectators with his quality ball control and dating runs that had opposition defense constantly in trouble. His splendid performance in the Indian provincial tournament as a central forward and his partnership with George Mathin, the inside right mid, Dhyan Chand was India's first ever hockey scout for the Olympic Olympic Games. Leading India's charge was the central forward hockey player Dhyan Chand. Who top scored with 14 goals in five matches in route out to a gold medal in their debut performance? The coming years would see Dhyan Legend, Dhyan Chand's legend grow manifold as the man from Allahabad took his game a notch higher and helped India to defend the uh, Olympic gold at Los Angeles in 1932 games. While the previous two editions saw Dhyan lead the Indian hockey team with the emphatic performance on the field at 1936 Olympics in Berlin, he was named the captain of the side. The added responsibility spurred him. to great exploit the indian hockey team scored a total of 38 goals in the competition as they bagged another olympic gold conceding just once in the final india won the three successful olympic gold medals thus completing their first hat trick at games returning from their term in berlin chan joined his regiment and confined himself to army hockey though the sport in india continued to scale greater heights with the likes of balbir singh senior leading the charge as india went on all conquering area dhyan chan contribution remain unparalleled He retired from his army service in 1956 as Major Dhyan Chand and was conferred the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award in India, the same year. The nation celebrates its national sport day on Dhyan Chand birthday, August 29. The Dhyan Chand Award of Lifetime Sport, Lifetime Achievement in Sports, is a national sporting honor named after hockey legend. The national stadium in New Delhi is also named after him, and the legend Dhyan Chand continues to serve as an inspiration for many hockey players. Thank you.